all right guys uh, today we have a much bigger project working with n20b engine from this bmw so basically i just removed the intake manifold just for remove the intake manifold um get the wire in the harness out of the way most of it already taken apart i removed the alternator also there are all the hose for the coolant that would attach from the cooling system which is the radiator part of it the radiator here to the engine and remove all of those already and i have the intercooler hose that want to remove i already opened the clip already but i don't move that one as yet starter is already gone also remove that I remove the underguard from underneath it already before I even remove anything up here. Reason being, most time tools will fall, and the guard here would just pose a problem. So whenever if it fall, it will go straight to the ground. And I remove the coolant already, already extract that. So basically, I just have the two motor mounts Let's see if I can focus it here so this is one of the motor mounts and the other one is over on that side so I'm gonna move it both of them but I'm going to put it on the lift and while I'm doing have it on the lift I will just remove those and the muffler system down here I already removed it just behind the turbo so i have i'm gonna just take out the entire exhaust system underneath it or just probably loosen it enough so it would be out of my way when i'm going to remove the torque converter bolts and so forth um don't want to get get it in my way any at all so i, I like to move anything that i think that might pose a problem i normally just move those stuff so I'm going to get back to it and then give you another update. So actually, I, I just want to use a few hours and just remove this, remove the engine. I don't want to spend all day on it. And sometimes things might pop up and it give you a bit more time span to remove it. But I'm trying to work with a few hours to just get it out and then um, pull it apart and see what is the issue with it. Alright guys, uh, I know I said I was gonna give you some clippings of removing the engine but apparently I got so much work doing and has to be here, there, and it was just time. The time wasn't clear for me to do a video of removing the engine or the disassembling of the parts. But um, I have other engines to do. I have like three or four more BMW engines to be removed and change various parts from it. But this one I did. Uh, it was the piston in this one. This was the issue with this engine. But um, I have other, so I will definitely do a video of that one. I've already changed the piston from that one, changed it already, and reassembled the engine. I'm just leaving to put on this the crankcase so I'm gonna put on the crankcase today for now I will just have to show you my work so far catch you on the part
guys um I know that I promise you to um show you the time when um I'm reinstalling and fitting up but the time is against me because I have other vehicles trying to get them all finish up and stuff up. but I have another engine to take out um in another day or so so I will definitely do a video so you guys could see all of that and I have some subscribers starting to say oh, I wanna see what they do during the days so definitely I would do a video on that but fitting the engine now started already just bleed the coolant so if you wanna see your coolant to bleed the coolant system I have a video on that already and it goes through the same for all vehicles where BMWs are concerned so Turn off the heat. Uh, definitely. Tracking. 